Have you ever been disappointed in God? I have. See, what has happened in life is that sometimes we bring before the Lord certain things and situations that we would love for him to change. And maybe we hear things from the Lord in our hearts and maybe we read some things in his word and we take that and we believe that the change is going to come and it's going to come on our timeline. But sometimes what I have often experienced is that the timeline of mine and the timing of God are completely opposite. See, God's timing is perfect. You and I are just impatient. And so what we have in the generation that we're in is a fast food kind of generation, meaning that we like to get things quick, instantly, right then and right now. If we request it, we want it right then. And so just as soon as we are, we have a rumble in our tummy, we're like, oh, I'm hungry. What do we do? We go to the freezer, we pop out a frozen dinner pop it in the microwave for about five minutes. And within that five minutes from the time that we noticed we were hungry and to the time that our food is ready, it's within five minutes. God doesn't work like a microwave. He is not one that you put your request in, then you put the time that you want it to come through for you, and then you will experience it and reap the harvest of it. God is not a microwave. He will not be pushed. He will not be moved to the fact of removing the perfect timing for your life because he cares for you deeply. God is not going to make something happen in your life that is not in the proper timing that he designs because he loves you. He cares for you. There is a way that God has done things from the beginning of time, how he created everything to the, the flood with Noah, to the ways with Moses, to the breath that you have now, the Lord's timing has been very perfect and intentional. And our disappointments in God is simply because we put our timelines on God, but the timing of God and the timeline of our lives are completely different. And so what we must do is surrender our timeline to God's timing, knowing that his timing is perfect. And though we don't understand it, and though we would like it a little bit quicker than how it may be coming, we know that God is good in all things and his timing is perfect. And his timing is perfect so much so that it's for our good and for his glory.